Mistakes. What are they? Are they writing the wrong word in an exam or a test? Or are they getting something? Or could they be doing something wrong? These are the questions that have no answer. Because you define it. For me, mistakes are the things I admit to. The things I've done wrong. For others, it might be just certain aspects of their life. Maybe even how they define their whole life. But then again, what's life? As said by Al Pacino on any given Sunday, which is directed by Oliver Stone, life is a game of inches. Because no matter what, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half step too little too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow or too fast, and you don't quite catch it. The inches are everywhere around us. They're in every minute, in every second. And they're going to make the difference between winning and losing, between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, is a guy who is willing to die who is going to win that inch. And I know, if I don't have any life in me anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. Because that's what living is. Don't let life get the best of you. It is our choice whether we let life condemn us or save us. Just as much as it is our choice whether we give up or keep on going. You're all failures. You'll never amount to anything. Just give up and go away. Now I'm not sure about anyone else. Through my whole life, I've been told this type of stuff. By teachers, by friends, by even strangers. And I'm sick of it. Yeah, I'm a failure. Yeah, I'm not going to amount to nothing. But I'm not going to give up. Because that's what they want. They don't want someone who's going to try, no matter the stakes. They just want someone who will give up, walk away, and then they'll keep on going at them until they stop giving up. <coughs> then we'll go after a new target, then a new one. It's like people, millionaires always want more money. Just like these people always want more victims and more people to give up. Everyone wants to succeed. Some at work, others at school, basically wherever, wherever you're good at. But most of you will never succeed. Not because you're lack of ability. Not because you're lack of determination. But because you're lack of failures. To succeed, you must fail. Failure teaches you the most important things in your life. Sometimes, they're just minuscule, small things that are, won't make much of a difference. But at other times, they're important to your progress or success. In the end, it does come down to what you want to succeed in life, how you want to succeed it and how to determine you are succeeding it. <coughs> I'll leave you now to, with, a, with a quote by Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You're a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing in life about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shut, as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Thank you.